facts. And I am not here saying that China is going to invade Taiwan. I'm just saying it's a real a realistic consideration to take into account when investing in a company, as well as depends on maybe how much of your portfolio or what you're willing to risk, because um, that is a very real scenario, although unlikely. So, yeah, China's aggressive military posture towards Taiwan is concerning. So uh, supposedly they've sent a record number of fighter jets into Taiwanese airspace in the past months. But there's this idea, and I've just pulled up a video. Vice News just, I believe, a week ago did a report. You see somebody with a gun here. It's, a, I think, a Taiwanese soldier training. Um, so everyone's talking about this right now, and it's a big issue. But there's this concept of the silicone shield, which they talked about in this specific video. It's the idea that because Taiwan produces 90% of the world's chips, that the Western world wants to protect them. And the Western world wants, wants to, we want to hold up their ability to defend themselves. Um, so you're right. If, if China was to overtake Taiwan, it could be catastrophic. You know, it's $210 billion in revenue that was actually lost in the automotive sector because of the chip shortages during COVID. So Chips are critical to pretty much everything we do nowadays. Now, the U.S. Chips and Science Act, which is what the Biden administration has done to try and fund local manufacturing of chips in the U.S., allocates $50 billion to our national semiconductor manufacturing abilities. And I believe that our main goal is to partner with organizations like TSM in doing that. So I, I, Intel, if, you, if you're concerned about China invading Taiwan, Intel is a better investment for you. And Intel has built up their, so Intel manufactures most of their chips in the US. They have factories around the world, but Intel does most of their manufacturing inside the US. So if that's your biggest concern, then buy some Intel. I'd prefer to invest in the leader in manufacturing of chips. I'd prefer to invest in the one that Apple chooses, that Nvidia chooses. I think they're going to do better. And China's invasion of the country where they're headquartered isn't as big of a concern for me, especially considering that they are opening these plants in Arizona and in Japan now. So for me, it's not as big of a concern. Um, but once again, for every investor, they have their own risk tolerance.